Today, I want to do a video on this super clean head unit for the second gen Toyota Tacoma. Let's get into it. Well, hey everyone and welcome back. After so many requests to cover this head unit on the channel, I thought we'd give it a go. So let's do a quick video just going over this head unit and share my thoughts on it. Now, for those of you who don't know, I am coming over from the AU car head unit, which was a giant screen that took up this whole area. Um, it replaced the AC controls, um, was a really cool head unit, worked really well, and I really liked it. But something I've been doing recently to the Tacoma is kind of bringing back the OEM feel to it. Uh, cleaned up this trim right here, cleaned up a lot of other trim pieces in the truck, and just kind of bringing back that OEM look and feel. And I think one of the things that really is great about a head unit like this is it really just looks very natural um, in the Tacoma uh, center dash console. And so I definitely wanted to um, try this head unit out. Now, I make a lot of videos on Tacoma content and AU car had set out, sent out that previous head unit and I didn't have to pay for it. Um, if I didn't have them reach out to me and if I had never heard about that head unit, this way back in the day was what I was originally going to go with. Now I really like the AU car head unit and I may go back to it eventually, but since I make so many videos on the channel about uh, Tacoma gear and stuff like that, this is one I just always was curious about and wanted to try out. So far, I'm liking it. Um, throughout this video, I'll kind of make comparisons um, back to that AU car head unit. And this one, just for those who have watched my previous videos on the AU car head unit. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get into this thing. Okay, so this is an Android head unit. It does allow for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which I will show you here in a minute. But real quick, let's just do an overview of the head unit. So in the top corner right here, you've got a home button, a back button. So whatever screen you were previously on, you could just go back to. Right here, we've got a volume control knob and a push to mute button, push and an unmutes. Uh, this will take you to the radio, this button right here. Um, navigation button. Now down here, if we go just a little bit lower, we also have another navigation button, Bluetooth, this will take us to like all of our applications inside the Android menu. Um, you gotta push just for reference right here, these buttons, you gotta push them quite, just a little hard to get them to respond. So just a note on that. Um, and then you've got a video button and a settings button. Now in the settings, um, you, connect, you can connect to internet. Now, if I clicked use Wi-Fi right now, it would allow me to search for my uh, cell phone. And so I, ha I don't have personal hotspot on my phone. You know what, I'll just do that right now. Let me turn that on for you guys. Personal hotspot is now on, and now you're gonna see my phone automatically just connected, and now I will have internet on here. And so let's go to the home button, application, Google, and we've got internet. And so, uh, pretty cool little function to be able to pull that up. Um, I'll talk a little bit as we go through some of these applications a little bit later on, um, why that feature is so awesome. Um, there's definitely some applications that you can use that will be really helpful with that. Now, the personal hotspot on this head unit works really, really well. Um, in the previous head unit that I had, it didn't work, it worked, but it didn't work as well. And so I ended up purchasing a 4G SIM card, which I also do have installed in this head unit. For those who are interested, you can use a 4G SIM card on this head unit to get its own cellular connection. There are cellular antennas that this uh, head unit comes with that connect to the back of the head unit and you can like mount them inside the truck. And so that does work, it works just fine. Um, but in this head unit, I don't think it's super necessary because the little hotspot connectivity was really good. And so instead of paying for 
another cellular plan. I will be canceling my cellular plan and just using my, my cell phone as a hotspot. And so that works pretty well. Now let's move on to some application stuff. Um, so right here you've got CarLink. Actually go through this whole menu. Um, aux connection and so I do have a front facing camera that I had connected to my previous head unit. Now I'm pretty sure I can do that in this one as well. I just have not taken the time to set that up yet. Um, for those of you who do a little off-roading, when you're kind of going up an incline, um, it's really tough to see over the hood. And so to the front of my bumper, I've mounted an off-road camera and I'm thinking I can hook it up to this aux connection right here. Um, so you got Bluetooth, calculator, car link, which we'll click on in a minute, uh, Google, your sound equalizer. For those who are gonna ask, the sound quality in this thing is just as good as any other head unit that I've used so far. File manager, so if you wanna upload some pictures or videos or whatnot. Uh, this is the Android music player. Netflix does work. Um, Onyx off-road. Now this is what I, I'll, I'll take a minute on this real quick. Onyx off-road is what I use for all of my off-road trips and off-road navigation. Um, for those who are new to the channel, this is kind of like the main thing that we do here. In fact, this whole truck has been built out for um, off-road trips. And so I, I typically actually don't really use this much of a daily driver. It's, it's a designated Overland uh, rig. And so the standard version of Onyx off-road on this head unit, I think is the best um, as far as off-road navigation is concerned, everything works great. I can connect, um, like I said, to uh, wireless internet so I can download all of my off-road maps while I'm on the way, like on the trip, on, on the road, on the way to my trip. I can download all that stuff. Everything works great. I'm really happy with how that works out. Uh, we will talk about it a little bit. In fact, I'll just connect to Apple CarPlay real quick. Now, when you... Um, are using Apple CarPlay. There is a Apple CarPlay version of Onyx Off-Road that you can also use. Some people prefer that. I prefer the standard uh, version much better. This one kind of more reminds me of like a standard navigation type app and that's just not really what I'm looking to use when I'm on the trail. I want to see like more of like that two-dimensional map of like the whole area. So that's just a personal preference of mine but it still works really well. Um, I've downloaded some applications down here, Paramount Plus, Google Play Store, Prime Video. Now I'll talk about this real quick. For those of you who watched the Super Bowl this year, it's streamed on Paramount Plus. And I was on an off-road trip the day of the Super Bowl, and on the way home, I actually watched the entire Super Bowl on this head unit. All right, while we're on the topic, you can also pull up applications like YouTube and watch Alpine Tactics. And it honestly, it looks great, it works great. I'm pretty happy with uh, how that performs. And so, pretty cool. We'll go ahead and turn that off. So there's all sorts of customization that you can do to this thing, being that it is an Android head unit. You can change the color of these like light indicators, like let me turn on my headlights real quick and you'll see the screen dimmed a little bit because I've got it set to do that um, at nighttime. And then you can see the indicators lit up in orange to match like the second gen Tacoma orange. That's just what I chose to set it at, but you can change it to be whatever color you want. Um, and so I thought that was pretty cool. Now I'll turn the headlights off so we get a bright screen again. Now you can also if it's just too bright for you at night and it's really dark on the road that you're at, you can just turn the screen off by using that function and then just hitting the screen again brings it back. Um, you could turn off data. You can disconnect, right, right, like right now it's connected to my personal hotspot. You can disconnect that up here. Uh, you can turn it on like the nighttime mode, which is like more of a warm coloring. So it's easier on the eyes. Airplane mode all that kind of stuff, standby, reboot right here. And so overall, lots of functions on this thing works pretty well. Now, it does work with, I'll show you my steering wheel controls, volume up, volume down. Uh, it does work with 
the reverse camera. It's pretty quick, a little less lag than the AU car head units. Um, so that all works pretty well. Now, when I hit a, uh, Apple CarPlay, so I'm gonna turn on Apple CarPlay right now, it's gonna take a quick second longer right now because um, my phone was connected using the personal hotspot and it needs to disconnect from my phone to run Apple CarPlay. And so now that I've reconnected Apple CarPlay, the um, hotspot is no longer gonna be working. And so internet connection on the Android uh, side of things will have gone away, but now I've got my um, Apple CarPlay connected and running. Now you can kind of see with Apple CarPlay, there's a super slight, super uh, low lag. It's not anything that I would really complain about, but it's noticeable, you know, so I just want to let you guys know about that. Um, something I will compare. In fact, I'll, I'll make a couple comparisons to this and the AU car head unit right now. Now on this head unit, the screen, like the touchability of the screen is not quite as responsive. I think it works well. I think it works fine for being a head unit, but the AU car head unit is really responsive to the touch and feels a lot more like a tablet than this does. This is, you know, kind of just reminds me of like a typical vehicle head unit. It's not quite as responsive and smooth as the AU car head unit is. Um, now the AU car head unit wasn't perfect. It had a little bit of lag to it as well, but it was just a little bit more responsive and I think ran a little bit faster. Now both this unit and the AU car head unit that I have, I both ordered the, um, the top tier model. So the most amount of uh, RAM and memory and the most current operating system on both of them. Now the AU car head unit is like a thousand bucks. This one's like 550. Uh, the AU car head unit came with everything that I needed to have everything, steering wheel controls, reverse camera, all that kind of stuff working right off the bat. This one I had to order an additional harness for the steering wheel controls and the reverse camera to work with my 2012 um, with JBL audio system to work. And so when you order the head unit, you're gonna have to make sure that you obviously order the head unit for your vehicle model um, because there, there is difference um, in the second gen Toyota Tacoma from 2005 to 2015. Most of these head units will, will work and be compatible but there's some differences with like the wiring harnesses and stuff. And so you need to make sure that you make the correct uh, selections. Um, so I will link in the video description to the head unit and I'll also link to the harness that I ordered for my truck. But if your truck is different than mine, um, obviously, you know, check out the website and make sure that you order the correct one for your truck to make sure that you can run everything the way you're supposed to with, you know, factory cameras and all that kind of stuff. Now, if you've got your factory camera up here, like some of the models do, um, don't think the camera is gonna work for you. You'd probably have to order uh, an additional backup camera to be able to have a reverse camera wired into this head unit. And so, just something to take into consideration when it comes to that. Now, um, overall, I wanna say the AU car head unit is probably a better performing head unit. It's a little bit quicker, a little bit more responsive. Um, obviously you got the big screen and that's fantastic. Uh, for the time being, I think I'm gonna be rolling with this one just because I've been enjoying kind of like the OEM vibes, whoop, my bad. The OEM vibes that I've been doing with the upgrades on uh, the Tacoma. Um, I also really like having this volume control knob. I really have enjoyed having my AC controls um, back and so the simplicity of this head unit I'm liking and so far it's getting the job done for me. Okay, so I'll be linking to the head unit and the wiring harness that I used to make sure that this all worked the way I needed it to in my truck for you guys in the video description. I'll also uh, link to the video I did of the AU car head unit just in case you haven't seen that video yet and you wanna compare the two. I think they're both great head units 
Uh, like I said, for the time being, I'm gonna be sticking with this joying hedge unit. Now, I at the moment, I don't have a discount code for you guys because I've got no affiliation with joying, but I'm gonna send them an email, see if they're interested in providing one for you guys as an incentive to pick up their hedge unit over the other one. Um, and so, if they do, uh, approve that then you can find said discount code in the video description if not I'll still link to it so you guys can find it on uh, Amazon or their website or whatever um, and so with that being said you guys if you have any questions about this hedge unit at all let me know in the video description like I said I'm enjoying it I think it's a pretty good hedge unit it's very clean fits the truck perfectly um, coming up We've got a baby due in like five days. And so I've got a couple of videos scheduled, but I will be taking a quick break from filming. Want to get off the break. I've got tons of trips planned and um, a lot of build stuff coming on the truck. So for those of you who watch the second gen Tacoma videos, lots coming there. For those of you who are here for the camping and the overlanding and all that kind of stuff, really excited to get back on the trail. Um, after things settle down from the new baby, which I am very excited to meet uh, within the next week. Um, and also one more note on all of that, we have gone on quite a few trips this year and I filled about half of them. And so I'm working on editing those videos and they should be up shortly. A lot of announcements there at the end, but thanks for watching you guys. We'll see you in the next video.